Hello everyone and welcome back to another review with me Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. It's Friday, I'm literally doing this right now, it's been a super busy week so it's the only time I've been able to find uh, is to get this out today and I'm really excited, a huge shout out to Drew from Arizona, uh, subscribed to the channel and talked to him all the time. He's actually sent me this bottle and this is what we're going to review today. So it's an independent bottler. One that I haven't really heard of, but I straight away, I love the bottle, love the labelling on it. It's just really up my street, the kind of style I like. Um, this is called Nebrarin, Nebrarin. So it looks like Bratherin, but the way you pronounce it is Nebrarin. And it's a uh, Gaelic for the brothers. So the story behind this, I don't know if it is two brothers that own it. The guys Andy and Brendan, or Brennan, I think it's Brendan. These guys joined together. I don't know if they're brothers, but the kind of story goes about the casks. So what they do is they get one big cask with liquid in it. So for instance, what I'll be doing today is this liquid. It's a 13 year old. So they get one massive cask of liquid with spirit in it, which is in a um, bourbon hogshead is what it spent its life in. So 12 years of bourbon hogshead. What they then do is they split that and they put it into two little casks, which they call the little brothers, the little brother and the big brother. And they have different finishes. So this one here is an Isla cask finish. And the other one that they do, same again, it's linked with 13 but it's a rum cask. So it's spent eight months in an ex Isla sherry quarter cask. So I'm excited to see what it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, I've not opened it yet. I'm going to put it in the glass, let it breathe for a little bit, because it is cask strength at 52% ABV. Um, so we'll give it a wee bit to breathe. Don't know if this will pop, let's see. Ooh. Oh wow. Well. There we go. So this is from Linkwood Distillery. I done Linkwood not so long ago. It's owned by Diageo. Massive, massive plant. About 5 million litres per year is what they produce. So they're huge. They, they've not got a visitor centre, you can't go rock up to the distillery and get a visit and things like that. But this is primarily used to bulk out blends. So they'll use Linkwood to go into blends and just give it a lot more character, a bit more oiliness and just a bit more grip to it. So it's very versatile in that sense. The only kind of single malt you'll see from them is the Flora and Fauna range that they do. It's one that I've actually not tried, I don't think. But I love the labelling on this. They've got... Like a little box, of, I'll show you up in the camera, I'll take a wee close up as well and put a wee picture at the end of where the distillery is, like in a grid, right on it. It was distilled on the 7th of March 2008 and it was bottled on the 30th of April 2021. So it's 12 years old and the bourbon cast in the next 8 months it's spent in that ex Isla cast has just brought it to over uh, the 13. So they've just let it go out there. This is called the Big Brother, 52%, um, non-chill filtered natural colour exactly what we like. So, oh fuck, I'll try and see if this will, hopefully it will focus for you. So I just think it's a really cool bottle, it's really different, I think it's quite classy, it's quite out there, I just love that style of labelling. Everything is so easy to read, I can see it all, I know the distillery is from the region, bottle number 2655, how old it is and it's finished in an ex Isla Sherry Quarter Cask. So I don't know what that is. I may think potentially Laphroaig. I know they're huge on their quarter casks. They absolutely love using quarter casks. So I'm not 100% on that. I wouldn't quote me on it. But we'll need to just wait and wait and see. So Nebrachin, cool name. The brothers and they use the big cask, split it into two other cast and that's the brother cast they, they finished these in. So this has been in here not so long. I probably should have poured it earlier and let it sit, but I haven't. So we're just going to get towed right into this. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to go back to it anyway and revisit. So colour wise, it's like nice amber. It's that a lot more bourbon influence to it. I think you will have the slight darker note to it just from the, the sherry cask. But let's have a wee sniff. Let's see what we get on the nose. Very fruity. Straight away there. A big 
glass they're like red fruits quite like uh, gummy sweets gummy candy that's it's got that sweetness to it it's quite rich but yeah gummy candy i don't get any pee don't get any smoke nothing like that it's just sweet on the nose there's a, that floral hat again it's got that quite fresh flowers it smells great so gummy candy and very floral as i say you've just bought fresh flowers and they're just blooming it's quite like that it's quite summery i would say right we'll try this on the palette let's see let's see how this goes slide it around Yep, I like that. I really like that. That's chewy, wee bit nutty. There's just that little tiny, tiny note I peat in there now. Not at the forefront. I only think I can taste it and realise it's there because I know it's from an ex Isla cask. If I didn't know that, I wouldn't maybe get it but I would be like there's something going on here and that kind of makes sense nutty oily creamy the red fruits just stick there it's got a kind of I would say like condensed milk note to it that sweetened sweetened milk I'm going to try another wee sip without water then I'm going to add a wee splash it's 52% yeah 52% it smells absolutely magic I love that nutty oily still those red fruits that can more yeah red fruits now on the palate on the nose it smells sweeter but the fruit comes through and then that little that little bit of peat there so it's a slight sherry notes are just coming through but it's a i feel like it's been a really good bourbon cask this has been in for sure so i've added a wee bit of water i love when I add water to whiskey and you just watch it mope around and just get right in to, to the malt itself. Excuse me. Do you know what it smells like? It generally smells like a bourbon. I think if this was put in front of me in a blind tasting, I would be on the fence to say if it's single malt or if it's actual bourbon. I think that's how good a quality this bourbon cask that has been used to primarily age this has just been right up there i think personally it's just got those sweet cherry notes the candiness the, the sweet gummy sweets and floral it's just yeah i would be very i think my first guess would say blind tasting i would be saying i think this could be a bourbon the only thing that might throw me off is the color but it smells delightful, honestly. This I wish I could send the smell through. Right, we'll try this in the palette now. It's not changed too much yet, it's just more bourbon esque on, on the nose for me with a little bit of water, but we'll try it on the palette. The water's got it a bit. I wouldn't say spicy, but so you got peppery now. A little bit of tiny dryness. Um, 
a more smoke's a bit more prominent with it. The nuttiness is still there, and I do get a nuttiness usually from Bunahaven. So now I'm sw I'm swaying towards is the <laughs> is the Isla cask I've been having lightly heated or is it Lefroy because I'm thinking X quarter casks sherry and the sherries and all these things. But it is a delightful dram. I've really enjoyed that first experience with it. I think it's got a lot of sentimental value as well, just from Drew sending that out, just a knock at the door the other day and this showing up and I thought I've not bought any whiskey. I've I've been very good lately. Um, and he dropped me a message to say, so all the way from Arizona, he's dropped this. So it's massively appreciated, Drew, really, honestly. And I'll sit and I'm sure I'll enjoy this and enjoy another dram tonight. As we always do, we always get to know it. It's just class. 52% definitely doesn't taste like that. It smells like a bourbon. It tastes like a whiskey. It, those eight months in an Isla cask. Sherry, S quarter cask, great, and I think this is probably the best bourbon cask that I've came across or influence on a whiskey for sure for how closely it does smell like a bourbon and it's got those sweet notes like it as well. If you do like bourbon, if you do like um, single malt scotch as well and you're not too sure, try and find like a, a meat in the middle. This would be the one to go for. I am pretty sure it is sold out as there is only 155 bottles out there in the wild. If I can get your hands on it, definitely 100% go for something like this. Um, if you like the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment. Have you tried this? Have I pronounced this properly? Let me know. Being Scottish, I can still pronounce things completely wrong, which I probably made an absolute um, meal on this one. But yeah, let me know what you think of this, what you would expect from a whiskey in this this style, and have you ever got anything from um, Nebraran? I'm going to sit back, I'm going to go and enjoy this a little bit more, I'm going to get to know it a little bit. I'm off for the weekend, I've got golf in the morning, the club championship, so I'll just relax with one tonight and think about um, having a good round in the morning. But as always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey, enjoy me next week, let's talk whiskey. Thanks, folks.